It's Abraham Lincoln. And a naked woman with a nice bum. What is up, people of the internet? Happy New Year and all the best in 2017. I hope you had an incredible, fantastic, ridiculous, awesome 2016, because I sure did. Let's take a look. I started putting out food videos in February when I was hit up by my man Darren Ravel of ESPN, who inspired me to make a Super Bowl treat, which was pretzel football pockets stuffed with hot dogs and mustard. It turned out incredible. Shout out to my man Darren Ravel, thanks for the inspiration, dude. Then I had an incredible opportunity to be a guest judge on a brand new Food Network show called Cooks vs. Cons. It's a show where home chefs battle pro chefs and no one knows who's who. And I got to meet and hang out with two food celebrities that I've been fans of forever, Jeff Zakarian and Graham Elliott. Later on in the year, I had the opportunity to compete on Guy's Grocery Games. This was my second opportunity at competitive cooking and this time, I was gonna prepare properly. The show was super fun and spoilers, your boy took home the championship. I even got to win 20K for my charity, which is always an awesome thing. Obviously, if you follow me on anything, you know that I always spend time with my extended foodie fam over at Food Beast, and this year was no different. We spent a lot of time this year working on sick food collaborations and made pho pizza and chicken corn dog bleu or the shawarma egg roll, just to name a few. And together, we also created a life-size pepperoni pizza ping pong table. It was so much fun. We kind of shifted gears later on and I had an opportunity to throw some food wraps on wax with none other than Dumbfounded and the guys over at Food Beast. I finally got around to recording my six track EP called The Recipe, which is a mixtape where every song is a recipe. Seriously, this is some of the most fun that I had all year. The tracks were dope and the music videos were hype as fuck. And that led me to another opportunity to make a custom song and music video for Jack in the Box's new brunch fast menu. Seriously, it was a smash hit. I also had a bunch of my friends in the kitchen and I attempted to teach them how to make ridiculous culinary creations. I taught my boy Alex Wasabi how to make a Western omelet in a cup. Then later, I taught his bro, Aaron, how to make bacon wrapped cheese stuffed pickles coated in hot Cheetos and deep fried. Jimmy Wong and I invented jalapeno popper stuffed chicken wings. And I got to get back in the kitchen with my boy cousin Dave and we created Cheeto crusted sushi Ritos. And that led me to dabble into my live streaming game because as you may or may not know, Dave live streams like every single day on twitch.tv slash liquor sauce. A knife boys, knife, knife in the belly. Knife it's in the belly. Knife boys, knife in the belly. We be. I met up with my friends Jenna and Julian where I got to go on their podcast and talk a whole bunch of smack about food. And they're just nuts. Like they're just so much fun. Around the springtime when the NHL season was coming to an end, I linked up with Smoked Poutinery to get my sculpting on and we created the world's first Stanley Cup poutine. And you know, sometimes I get to do things that I would never ever expect to do. This was the case when Honda approached me and invited me to battle at Bristol in Tennessee to face off against my boy Laz Lynch in a cooking competition. It was the largest football game in attendance ever with over 155,000 people. Then I booted over to New York City and learned all about New Shell Lobster. Got to meet cool people, Mark Forgione, who's a food celebrity I've been a fan of forever, and all sorts of fishermen that taught me what New Shell Lobster was. Then I linked up with my buddy Jimmy Wong and we took Vegas for a ride. We got to eat, we got to drink, we got to race cars. It was such an incredible time. Vegas, I love you. Fast forward to the end of the summer, I was invited to Outside Lands, which is a music and food festival in San Francisco. And not only was I invited to the festival, but I was their resident tastemaker on the ground tasting all the food and meeting all these awesome people that were there to watch the music. Then I put a little work on hold and I got some R&R &R by going on a fishing trip with eight of my buddies. Such a blast, but uh, you know, between the nine of us, in three days we caught one fish. That's 
kind of sad. And of course, the year rounded up with my second season of Sugar Showdown on Cooking Channel. This year I got to do 20 episodes and it was super, super fun. Loved all the people that I worked with. I really hope I got a third season. And if you haven't seen it yet, Sugar Showdown, Cooking Channel, do yourself a favor. It's a really great show. Well, that's pretty much it as far as 2016 went. And I have so many things planned for 2017. I'm super excited to show you guys everything. I'll be stepping up my live streaming game by doing some test cooking in the kitchen. That should be fun. I'll also be getting into some podcasting, which I'm really excited about. My food inspired music is ever evolving. I plan on coming out with another mixtape with a whole slew of other recipes, maybe making it an international flair, working on a song for jerk chicken and some uh, Asian inspired food. It's gonna be super dope. And of course, there was a bunch of stuff that I filmed in the last few weeks of the year that I just can't talk about right now, but I promise you, it is gonna be super exciting and awesome to see. Either way, I appreciate you all for your continuing support and all the love that I get throughout the year. So thank you very much. I seriously love you all. And of course, if you want day-to-day -day updates on my life, you can follow me on Snapchat. My name is Mookie Guapson. You can follow me on Twitter and add me on Facebook and also follow me on Instagram. My name is The Josh Elkin. I seriously post different content to all social media platforms every single day. That's it for me. I hope you guys have an excellent 2017. Peace. I love you all.